good evening everyone and good evening dr nayak today i am a human speaking on behalf of humanity now dr nayak since you were can we have your name please yeah can i am clearly. chirag and please don't ask my religion dr nayak since you were born maybe in a muslim family you were prescribed with your religion now that is why today you are endorsing it maybe if you would have been born in a hindu family it could have been possible that today this religion would have been on hinduism this i feel is an extreme case of ethnocentrism wherein you feel your religion culture beliefs and ideas are supreme that is why you said that sikhism or arya samaj or whatever religion that abandons idol worship is supported by you too according to me we should be discussing a larger religion of humanity and not keep juggling here any comments or oh, justification sir very good question he said that because i was born in a muslim family that's the reason i'm endorsing islam maybe if i was born in a hindu family i would be endorsing hinduism and i'm supporting arya samaj and sikhism because it matches my view and i'm juggling around i should rather speak about broader aspect very good question yes brother i agree with you till the age of 19 i was a muslim only because my father was a muslim after the age of 19 when i started studying about comparative religion now i am a muslim by choice and believe me if you can point out any other religion to me better than islam i am ready to accept that religion today today sir i am endorsing the religion of humanity brother i'll come to it yeah i'll come to it yeah i am telling anyone proves to me logically scientifically any other religion better than islam i am ready to accept it you are telling you are talking about humanity who wrote this religion humanity mahatma gandhi who wrote it you know a muslim cannot be a good muslim unless he is a good human being that no. every religion says every brother, religion says brother let me complete my answer yes sir are you here to hear my answer or are you here to give your views i would like to have a healthy discussion and reach brother, to a logical conclusion this is not a debate session not at all i never said so listen to my answer after my answer you can give your comment okay please Let me finish, man. So keep on interjecting. That means you listen to my answer. Carry on. Listen carefully. Yeah. Something is going. Mahabharat is going in your mind. Now will you listen? When Please you, carry on. When you read out your question, did I interrupt? Please carry on. Did I interrupt? You, you did not. Please so, carry on. Everything writing down, coming, asking question. I Now said. I am giving yeah. the reply. Listen. This yeah, is my that's reply. Yeah. I am listening. So why are you commenting? Please carry on, sir. please justify tell me your answer if you listen to my answer you'll understand otherwise all this more than 100000 people will understand yet you'll have the same question i'm a medical doctor a person can't concentrate on two different things listen to the answer after the answer is over no problem what you have to realize you're talking about humanity first you said don't ask my religion then you're saying i am endorsing humanity first of all you're ashamed to identify your view then you're talking about humanity i am asking the question who wrote this book called humanity is there any book is there any guidelines of humanity i am telling you a muslim cannot be a muslim until he is a good human being every religion doesn't say that i'm sorry to say that you have not studied the other religions i can give a talk i can give you quotations from the vedas quotation from hindu scriptures quotation from the bible which goes against humanity i am not here to criticize any religion if you have not studied any religion please don't say anything which you have no knowledge of quran says fasalu ahl zikri in kuntum ta'lamun surah nahl chapter 16 verse 43 surah ambiya chapter 21 verse number 7 you are not a student of comparative religion so please don't make comments without knowing i can give you quotations from the bible against humanity i challenge you to point out a single verse of the quran a single teaching of prophet muhammad peace be upon him which is against humanity so don't tell me every religion says that sorry your knowledge is very weak what i am trying to tell you 
Humanity means, okay, you are in standard two. I am talking about not only passing school, not only graduation, you have to become postgraduate. Islam means higher level. Only humanity is low level. No Muslim can be a good Muslim unless he's a good human. I challenge you to point out a single teaching of Islam which is against humanity. You may not be knowing the logical background, the logical reason why Islam has prescribed that teaching, and you may think it is against humanity. Like I would say, oh, doctor is giving me injection, it is poking me. But that injection is good for you. You know, doctor is cutting up my tummy. It's cutting up my tummy to save your life. So doctor knows, you don't know. If I have two choices, okay, passing standard two or three, or doing post-graduation, I would prefer post-graduation. Why only standard two and three? Humanity is good. But Islam is far superior than that. Regarding your question, I am endorsing Islam because I was born in a Muslim family. I told you, I challenge you, if anyone proves to me any other religion, I have studied most of the major religions. And I think Islam is the most logical, the best religion for humanity. It is the only religion which has the solution for humanity. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the dina in the layal Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. And for your information, your argument is so weak. Do you know, out of more than 30 scholars that we have, from different parts of the world, more than 10, they were not born in a Muslim family. Do you know that? I'd like you to answer this question. Do you know that? Out of 30 people speaking from the stage, more than 10, they were not born Muslim. Do you know that? Sir, I attached maybe. I'm that asking maybe you a question. Do you know that? No, yes I don't or no? know that. So that means the whole argument falls down. Out of the 30 people speaking from different parts of the world, more than 10 are from America, 4 are from Canada, few are from UK, we are from Malaysia, we have a couple from Saudi Arabia, from UAE, from Somalia, from Sudan, and more than 10, they were born in non-Muslim families. They grew up. Some accepted Islam in the teenage, some accepted Islam in the 20s, some in 30s, and Allah gave them hidayah. They are Muslims by choice. So your logic, that because we are born in Muslim family, therefore I'm endorsing. These people weren't born in Muslim family. They were born in Christian family. They were born in non-Muslim family. Yet they're endorsing Islam. Why? Because they have studied. They have studied other religions and they found Islam is the best way of life. What I request you, you study humanity and study Islam. And try and find out what point in Islam is against humanity. Then you'll come to know that the best religion, I'm not asking a religion, I'm asking you to accept the best religion. And the best way of life, the only solution for humanity is Islam. Thank you. I would like to know how this verse can favorize peace in, a, in a humankind. Uh, when we see the troubles between Palestine and Israel, uh, 